I hereby present to you all my top 8 tips of becoming a better League of Legends player. I hope you all get something from this. Let's start. Tip number one is don't keep playing when you're on a tilt. Uh, if you don't know what tilt is, then it's when you've had a couple of losses, a couple of bad games in a row. If you're doing this and you're just going to keep playing, don't expect to play well or you might e easily start raging at your teammates or do unnecessary stuff just because you're on a tilt. So my recommendation is take a break. Take, maybe take a shower, uh, take a walk, I, I usually sing for a while, you know, something. Like roll around in dirt, what do I know? My second tip is to not underestimate or overestimate yourself, to know your limits. And I think this is why it's so hard to master a champ in League of Legends. Because to go in and knowing how much damage you can deal or damage you can take and then go out, you know, when you have to and not die just because you, you thought you can take more damage or for whatever reason. This is something I think is hard to master, but it's it's gonna win you a lot of games when you do it. And I mean, when you're fed, if you don't underestimate yourself, and you know you can you can get that double kill, you can get towers, you can get ah so much extend your advantage. This is gonna win you many games. Third tip is. Instead of getting angry for dying, you should think about what you did wrong and what you could have done better. And I know this is hard. I know. Because when you die, you, you get frustrated. But the one thing you don't need to do is start flaming your teammates. I have seen, I have seen a lot of people just, when they die, you know, then that's the moment that they start flaming. They have been really kind before that. It's just, they get sal so salty when they die. And that makes them lose all their self-control and just, you know, starts flaming while they otherwise would not have flamed. When you die, it's almost always your fault. If you're not flashing in front of a Caitlyn ult to save your AD carry or doing something heroic with your de de death, then when you die in lane, when you die to a gank, you could have done something better. And this is a really good way of thinking if you want to improve yourself and get better. Um, and something I really recommend. Tip number four. Learn to make decisions. For example, if their team is going for Baron, and your bot lane is sort of pushed into their inhib tower or so, you can have one guy split push bot lane, and the other teammates of yours can stop their stop the recalls of the enemy team and just let this guy finish the game this is this is of course doesn't happen very often and it's a very rare case but stuff like this is the thing that wins you games uh, and now it's m more important than ever to learn from your mistakes because of course not not all, every every one of your decisions are gonna be correct and that's when you have to learn and not do the same mistakes again. Uh, I, I would say this is really good for team ranked because no one is gonna flame you if you make wrong decisions in team ranked if you're not with a shit team. Just play with friends. Normals, you can also practice in normals of course. Tip number 5 is don't start playing solo when you get fed. Top lane is a really good example of this since you're practically on an island as many describes it. Um, you can get to maybe 5-0 and just keep in on your lane, snowballing your lane. But if you're not pushing, if you're not helping other lanes, don't expect to win a game just because you won laning phase. And you don't want to just run in 1 versus 5 either, because this is gonna, they're gonna kill you and your team might not be fed just because you are, and they might just run over you, run over your team, and and you, you will prob probably be mad in the end of the game because you were so fed, you did so well, but then you, you still lose the game. And I see pretty much every 
No, no, I wouldn't say that. But many people in solo queue, uh, when they win their lane and they still lose the game, they're like, oh, won the lane, lost the game, oh, GG, man, team fucking noobs. And if the if your team lost their lanes against the enemy team, the enemy team was simply put better than them in laning. I mean, one team has to be the better, right? You can't expect your team to win any lane. If you're winning your lane 10-0 and your opponent is 0-10, then it, it's not that weird that your top lane is 0-10 as well. <laughs> because that happens. As you know, your opponent is 0-10. You, you should know people might be up versus an opponent that good. And this should make you understand that just don't go solo. Tip number six. Start moving to fights before they break out. For example, Dragon. Dragon is a really good objective when you wanna force fights or just sneak. But if you know a fight is gonna happen at Baron and you're for example mid lane, don't back and just you know, not be there in the fight. You need to maybe you know Dragon will be up in uh, 30 seconds. You can back, get your items, run and be there in time for Dragon when it spawns. Maybe a little more, maybe 45 seconds. Um, but you have to predict where the fights are gonna break out. I mean as top lane you can always predict where they will be and not be there. Well, you can split push a lane like a fucking Jax and everyone hates them fucking Jax top lane just split pushing and not O10 still winning fucking game ah I'm sorry all right but yeah predict where the fight will break out and be there in time tip number seven is be aware of your teammates status I mean with this I mean their HB their cooldowns their whatever positions you can be in a 5 versus 5 fight, you can think you have backup as a tank and just go in, die in 5 seconds tanking all the enemy shit, but if your team has blown all their cooldowns, they have their AD, your AD carry is slow, he can't do anything, that's pretty much no damage, you know? No cooldowns from the mage, jungle, support, they, they won't be able to do anything, and you're just tanking 5 seconds straight, without having any backup and this is something that also would cause people who doesn't know about this a lot of I mean they would might start raging uh, but it's really only your own fault you didn't you didn't know they blew all their cooldowns and I mean they can't just magically do damage so yeah just keep check of your what your teammates has done and you can you can easily get better at the game. Tip number eight is to be aware of where the enemy team is. And this is really important when you're training your decision making. And you might need words for this, but mostly you just need a good map awareness. You can see if their jungle is bot lane, you have a lead on top lane, you can go aggressive. You might be able to push them without the jungling interfering. Um, mid lane is going. If you, you're a jungle, you see the opponent mid lane is going bot lane to roam. You might come bot lane for a counter gank. You might come mid for a push. There is so much, so many decisions that you can make just by knowing where the enemy team is. This was all for my eight tips to become a better League of Legends player. I hope you all got something from this at least and not just laughing at my bad gameplay in the background and I know there's a lot of more tips to get better this is just some of the ones I found out to be good for myself something I've thought of when I play the game and just overall helpful tips good luck and have fun in your future games and don't rage others for being bad yourself or something you could have done better and I'm sure you're gonna grow ranks like a baby crying in his mother's stomach before birth. See you around guys.